there's a mysterious pest lurking in many lawns. Can you see it? Well, I'm afraid it's so small that you can't see it, and it affects the quality of the turf. But don't worry, because our good friend Roy Levin is here from EPLS, Environmental Pest and Lawn Services. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. You're Salvador. You're a, a nematologist, I am. a graduate nematologist. So what type of lawn are we standing on here? Well, this is an Empire Zoysia lawn. Wow. And this one's causing you nothing but problems, right? Basically, yes. Yeah, I, and you know, what's actually happening here? I see some good green over here, but very quickly I move into this brown. Yeah, so this, uh, this lawn has a problem with uh, soil parasitic nematodes. Nematodes, and that's that mysterious pest that I was talking about here. Now, it's unbelievable that you can have green here, and all of a sudden you've got, well, some bare areas. Is this typical symptoms of nematode damage? Yeah, so all typically you would see loss of color, uh, things like uh, drying grass, uh, even though you're watering, the roots basically not picking up the water. And that's what happened now. Uh, the people here are watering fairly often on this. Yes, one they here, are. Right? Yes, they well, are. It's hard to believe. And it's, it's hot outside, I'll be honest with you, but uh, still frequent watering like this. So when you have nematodes, what are they actually doing to the turf? So nematodes uh, feed on the roots of the grass and prevent the plant from picking up water and nutrients. Yeah. Now you've been studying these for years, right? Yes, I, I have. I really credit my right eye is not being as good because look through those binocs counting nematodes. How small are they? Nematodes are extremely small. You cannot see them with your naked eye. Yeah. You, need, uh, you need a microscope. So somebody picks up some turf and says, Roy, hey, I see nematodes there. They might not see them, right? Probably not. Yeah, okay, okay. So if we're walking across the lawn, now this lawn here is so uniform. Is that pretty typical of nematodes that you would have this uniform of damage? Uh, not as typical. Uh, usually you would see more uh, irregular patches of uh, declining turf. Uh, this mm -hmm. particular lawn is, uh, has a very severe infestation. Yeah. Now this is zoysia. We don't want to pick on zoysia too much, but uh, other lawn types have the same problem, right? They do, yeah. St. Augustine grass has it, Bermuda grass has it. Centipede? Uh, centipede does too with ring nematodes, yes. Yeah. And the one that probably doesn't have it as much is bahia. Bahia grass. Yeah, but I've seen it in bahia, and that was when it followed the nematode infe infection. Now, you, you have a square cut away here. You've already prepped this a little bit for us. Now, one thing we, we have is some weeds here. Now we got these in another area, but you spotted the weeds when we came in. What does that mean to us? So uh, certain weeds, like this spurge over here, are uh, indicator weeds. These weeds, generally we, we see them in areas that are heavily infested with uh, nematodes, and that's just one clue that we can have. You that, might have them, yeah, that, uh, going on. Now I don't see a weed otherwise. Just open this up here because you took it apart. Now yeah. we're looking at nothing. <laughs> right, basically nothing. So this grass is about uh, four or five years old, and this should have an extensive root system by now, but as you can see, uh, the root system is uh, non-existent. Yeah. Even what we're seeing here, they're stubbed back and just not much to it at all. Now, if you think you have a nematode, if I knock it like this, I can feel that they're just kind of stubbed, not much there. This almost looked like the original sod. Right. Yeah, and that was uh, five years old. Now, if we think we have nematodes, what should we be doing? These are just rhizomes here, runners, so they really have stubby roots also. They're not really a root. But what should we be doing if we think we have nematodes? Well, a good uh, idea would be to go ahead and collect a sample and send to a qualified laboratory like as the University of Florida. Okay, fine. And how do you do that? Uh, they, uh, they have a sample kit, or you can go online and pick up, uh, pick up the instructions, but it's very important to collect the sample correctly. Okay, now do I take the sample right here, or do I take it in several areas? Or you would take it from several areas throughout the landscape. And ship yeah. it up, okay. Mm -hmm. now, now here's the big question now. Now we have that, I know you want to put that down, I'll stuff it down for you there. <laughs> <laughs> but once you have that there now, anything we can do? Uh, there are a couple of products on the market uh, mm -hmm. that uh, may help. Uh, one is, uh, is called uh, Nordica is Nord one of them. Yeah, Nordica. Yeah. Nordica and is you one and I have had success with that one. Yes, it's uh, quite a uh, quite Roy is quite an well. expert in using this product, by the way. Yes. And there's some other things coming out maybe mm -hmm. down the pike. There. Maybe, yes. Yeah. Roy, thanks a lot. Not a whole lot of hope there, I'm afraid, for this lawn <laughs> anyway. Replace it maybe with something else that might be a possibility. Here's what you do first. Get a soil test kit from the uh, extension office or up online for nematodes and make sure you have a nematode problem. Could be something else, who knows, but at least you can, you know, make sure you're not having that problem and then you can try to correct it or maybe get a new lawn.